Hey everybody, Kaylin M here, and uh, I'm here today, or tonight, as it is right now, to show you uh, just kind of a a brief rundown of uh, lessons to train your dog. Like um, just a bit how. Right down here, we have Otter. Otter, come here. This is Otter. Uh, hold on. There he is. You probably see him in some of my other videos. Otter. Now, first, hold on. Let me adjust this. I'm on the laptop here. Okay, so first, a few things you want to address. What are some things that your dog likes? For Otter, he has a really intense play drive with toys. He likes bottles a lot, as do lots of dogs. Let me get that later. And uh, he has a really intense food drive also. Now, you always want your dog to have a play drive. I mean, a food drive is... I guess okay, but you don't want your dog sitting right at your knees begging every time you get a meal from the kitchen or something. He does that. And he does that because he's not our dog or else he wouldn't be doing that. But anyways, now, so you want to address that. and. How you can tell is if he has a real play drive, that, that just means he likes toys a lot and he likes to play. Or, that doesn't mean like he likes to wrestle or run or go for walks. Not that kind of play. Like, he likes toys. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. There's a bit of water left in there. Oh, there it goes. Well, he's off with that. There he goes. Yeah, all right, then, Otter. Well, now, the reason why is it is important that he likes toys is because of the fact that that's a system in which you can reward him for doing something of pleasure, such as doing the command properly, or doing something that was just a impulse, like defending the house from a stranger, something like that. It is a system of rewarding him, as is food too, if he likes food as much or more. But um, so that's one of the first things you want to address. And then after that, a very simple command to teach a dog is to sit. See, I, I teach my dogs in German. Well, I guess he's not my dog, but kind of is, half and half, as I'm really responsible for him. And, um, because my, uh, uh, my dad is a German Shepherd trainer, so it is more natural to train the dog in German. Uh, I said that wrong. It's not natural to teach him in German, but it's, it's, came first, basically. You could say that, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, Otter, Otter, Otter. Oh, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Come here, Otter, come here. Come here, Otter. Very simple one is to sit. Now, something you're going to want to do, he's already trained to sit, so he'll probably, he'll probably do it right when I just come up to him. Okay. Here's something you can try doing right here. Well, hold on. Get up. Get up. Here's something you can do with the dog. Say sit. He doesn't sit down. Like first, you want to have a treat in your hand at all times. I don't right now because he already knows the command. And um, then what you want to do is you want to say sit, 
If he doesn't do it, then you want to gently press on the hip area of the dog. And then he'll get the clue. Sit, sit, sit. And eventually he'll do it. And then that's when you reward him and give him the treat. See? And after a while, he'll remember that. Sometimes even the first time, he'll remember what that means. And, um, see, and then he'll remember to do that. And then after that, another easy one is to lay down. See, the commands for these in German is Platz for lay down, Sitzen for sit. Sometimes they just say Sitz for short, but now I'm going to show you a bit of how to make them lay down. Otter, come here. Come here, Otter. I have to be kind of playful with him to get him motivated. Okay, now you can press on him like that and say lay or Platz or whatever, but you can also say Sitzen first. Otter, Sitzen. And then from there, you can press down, like on the shoulder region. Let's say plots, lay down, or whatever. Sometimes they don't get the clue, and sometimes they just do it after a while because they're bored and they don't know what you're trying to say. And so when they do this, you reward them, obviously. See? And, um, yeah, like a... You don't, you don't want to be too hard on your dog, like you never want to hit your dog if like he ne doesn't do something right, you never want to hit him, you know. During play, you can kind of whack him with the toy a bit and it gets him excited, you know, and um, but you never want to ab abuse the dog because he's not doing something correctly. He will not understand why this is happening and it is also not correct. Like, uh, if somebody was saying something to you in a different language that you didn't understand, you wouldn't know what to do, and then it's just start punching you in the face, you know, you're not going to know why, so. But, um, like, uh, it's kind of hard sometimes to train your dog to stay. How I would do it, or how I did do it, was I just had him sit, I would kind of press on his chest, and I'd show him that I have something in my hand, I have a treat in my hand, I have something, and I would kind of hold on his chest, like this, like that, as he's sitting down, and I'd walk away, and like, if he got up, then I'd just go right back down, make him sit again, hold on his chest, kind of walk away, and make sure I keep telling him to stay. I don't know that word in German, but some of you probably do. Anyways, um, so just keep telling them to stay, and eventually you'll get the concept of it, and you'll just sit there like this. Watch. Ah. First, let me get a something for him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> up. Okay. I want to face the camera for you guys. Okay. Stick. Stick. Then uh, something else you can do is you can tell them when to stop staying, and we say break like this. Break, break, come on, break. See that time he didn't, he didn't get it at first. He didn't get up right away, but then after a while he figured out, hey, he's saying something in a really weird tone. It must mean uh, come here or something like that. Now watch, let's see if he remembers. Okay, Otter? Otter, 